and this is something which we must do something about in all levels of governance, whether in the private sector, in the academy, or in politics. In fact, just today, I attended the Manhattan Business Club meeting where my presidential candidate was a guest speaker. And we talked about the same case of poverty which the business community in Makati must face. So whether you are in UP or in Makati Business Club or in the hinterlands in various parts of Mindanao, it's the same case of poverty that confronts us daily. And uh, this is a kind of oppression, I believe, that Jonas Eason uh, tells us about. Maari tayo ay nakamit na. Nakamit na natin ang ating kalayaan. Uh, we must have, we were able to liberate ourselves and uh, we are now um, free as a people, but I believe and we all, I'm sure, will agree that there is no complete freedom from the oppression if we, or at least half of our population, live on only one dollar or 50 pesos a day. So on this occasion, I thank all of you for um, having me here today. It is a highly esteemed group and to be considered a friend of a great Filipino and a brilliant man and a loyal, extremely loyal friend, I, um, I, I thank you for being here today. I feel called my good friend last Monday, February 8th of his birthday. I will do so tonight. Um, I know that um, even if we are miles apart and uh, don't call each other as often as friends should do, uh, Jomas and my, our friendship, uh, goes beyond boundaries and borders. Uh, we may not be on the same political tents all the time, and uh, we may not agree on everything all of the time, but there are a couple of things, and those are the most, most important things in life that Joe and I agree on. First is social justice. Um, dapat magkaroon ng maayos na programa at pamalaan para magkaroon ng mas maayos na patay-tontay ng ating mga nagihirap na mga Pilipino. So social and equitable distribution of wealth is something that John and I have always talked about in Agreon. And of course, primordial consideration of course is the uplifting of our poverty of our long-suffering Filipinos. And third, of course, is a desire for a genuine, authentic, and lasting peace, uh, not only in the but the in the country. In fact, Sabi Joma, well, I, I shouldn't say this, it, it should be up to the record, we really should have known. It's a testament uh, of, of, of our friendship, out of his faith in my capability. Uh, it is a great honor to be to have said such words from a great man at Joma Season. Uh, who am I compared to Joma, who has suffered so much for the Filipino people, who continues to suffer from persecution from the Philippine government and from the US government and other governments, he spoke to those governments as well. But I'm glad that he has friends, uh, like those present here today, who give him tributes such as this, who uh, gives and honors, who, who gives honor for his talent and his brilliance and his uh, dedication to the Filipino people. I think I've said too much, the politicians talk too much, but there is a microphone. But um, I thank you all for having me here today. Kaya sa ating na kapatid, kaibigan, kakampi na si Joma Sison, isa kang dakilang Filipino, isa kang dakilang bayani, isa kang kapalit na kaibigan, isa kang kaibigan na hindi nakikiwan, na napaka uh, napaka-tapak sa kosa ng sambayan. Maraming salamat.